Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. And today I have two dolls in front of us. One of them is my doll, which is Sage Elise. I don't think you can tell. She's Sage. So, yeah. And another doll we have here is Yang. Now, why do I have these two dolls in front of me? Well, this one is not mine, and this one is mine. So, last year, libraries was starting to let people borrow an American Girl doll. This started with like the Be Forever dolls, some contemporary dolls like Logan, Ziyang, Tenny, those dolls. And you know, you destroy it, you have to pay for it. You don't bring it back, you have to pay for it. So yeah. So I live in one of those areas where they do that. And so, well, after a year, I pretty much got Ziyang to borrow so well i am here to do a review to see if you should borrow a doll or like how does it work so basically all you need to do is get a library card and you get put on a list to borrow a doll sometimes you don't have to wait you can see other dolls to see if they have a waiting list or whatever sometimes they'll have it on the shelves already so that you could just take it and borrow it if uh, most times you're probably going to be put on the list because these are pretty um popular if you could say that so basically these dolls they get borrowed and everything and I'm just gonna take Sage Elise here. But these dolls, they get borrowed, they get used and everything. But I wanted to see if they really like, when they get it back, do they try to clean it up or anything? Or if it's like a good thing to do, like borrow a doll. So this is what this review is for. Now here, I'll just roll a clip of when I first got the doll because I this this is probably like a few hours later maybe like two or two or three hours later after I got the doll so let's roll in that clip So let's just take the doll out of here. So what it comes with, it comes with the actual carrying case, the doll itself, and the book. So basically, if you were to really damage this doll, or if you um, per se did not return it after how many months or whatever, you would have to pay $150. That is the fee if, you know, you really destroy it or whatever. So, it comes in this bag. It does not have like a plastic or anything here. It comes with like a coating here. I don't know what that's for. And all of this here. It also has like a tag and it says what it comes with. CZ Yang doll book and bag. And then here's like where the area is and the coating. Here. So let's take this out and yes, her hair, as you saw in the clip, was pretty messy. So I'm a little bit worried. I believe she does come in her new outfit. So, so here's the carrying case. Comes with the book. And the doll itself, so let's unbuckle the doll. And this is just my receipt of me borrowing it. So here she is. This is Zi Yang. She's quite damaged, as you can see. Her hair isn't in the greatest position, and yeah, and she has like a plastic over her, which is understandable, such. You know the back it has like a little rounding and it shows what district it is i'm not going to show that of course and then you just have like the clothes didn't pretty put it on well but these shoes look amazing so she does come in her knee outfit but she's not in the greatest position as you can see and It does have the American Girl on it. 
if it wants to focus. American girl on there. Actually, this looks really weird because let me grab one of my newer dolls, Luciana here. As you can see, this one's way smaller and not in caps as this one should be. Maybe I'm just tripping or whatever, but I don't know. It seems pretty weird. Cause this one's on all in caps or whatever. Tell me if your guys' Z Yang was like this, cause I'm not completely sure. And then we have the tag here. And all of that. So yeah, we have Z Yang here. Let's just get a better shot of her since, you know, she's yeah. And as I noticed when I first got her, she had a lot of marks and glitter on her face. Like there's the glitter and you can see like the marks on her. And like her eyelash her eyelashes, I don't know if you can see, but they're starting to get messed up and everything. So yeah, and her hair is just a complete mess. So I assume that they don't actually clean their dolls or whatever when they get borrowed. I just think it's still kind of weird how this branding looks different. But let's get her in a better position. So I'm holding the camera because I don't have a tripod, but you know, this is my dollhouse type of setup. So she's just up here right now. <clears throat> So sorry if the camera's shaking, but as you can see, her hair is pretty messed up, I'm not gonna lie. And, like, her clothing and stuff is fine. You can see that her head got a little loose. Her limbs are actually really t pretty tight, so that's nice. And, um, yeah. So here she turned around. Her hair is pretty messed up once again. And I think she has the most of the stains on her face and everything. So yeah. Now we're gonna compare her with one of my new stalls to this one right here. So. Yeah. Here is the two dolls side by side. Luciana Vega is one of my newest dolls. Newest doll, well, yeah, but <clears throat> yeah, so here we have them side by side. They're literally the same. So we know that she's not a knockoff or whatever. I'm still questioning about the branding though. I don't know if they changed it or something, uh, but I just, thought it was a little bit weird because, you know, I mean, I could look at the other brandy, but here they are side by side, nothing really bad, they don't look like knockoffs, I mean, I don't have an actual Z Yang, so I can't compare the two, but yeah. Here is Z Yang that I got her from the library. Uh, we're gonna clean her up a little bit, brush her hair, clean her body, just to make sure, you know, and yeah. So let's just get onto that because it's pretty dead right now, so. I mean, she looks very cute though, even though she has some stains in here, you can see like, I think somebody tried to put marker on her eyebrows. It's not getting good on camera, but... <laughs> yeah, we're gonna try to fix that. I'm going to wash her off. I'm going to point out any more stains that I see, just in case. So, here yeah, you can see. I'll try to get a better picture later, but, um, her shoes are very dirty on the insides. It's kind of gross, to be honest. So, yeah. And her feet are pretty stained, too, but you can expect that from the library, so... Here, let's try to clean her off now. And, 
Surprise, surprise. I was not expecting this at all, actually. I'm taking off her clothing right now. She came with these purple panties. Well, I mean, that's understandable because I think they might have bought it at the time that was happening. Or they requested for it because, you know, we don't want to lose it, I guess. There's a lot of stains on her. It's really bad. So, I'm going to take off her shirt now, but I'm not going to completely ensure her without her shirt on because, uh, because the tag of where my district is is on there, so I don't want you guys to see that. No offense, but... Her arms do have some stains on it too, and she, as you can see, she has like a tape here, and so yeah, she's just in pretty bad condition. So we're gonna try to fix her up. So here is the ink all done and finished. Okay, a few things before I go. Do I recommend this? Yes, I recommend this, but just know that your doll might be slightly damaged when you borrow it. This is a good way to keep like, see if you want the doll or like, if you want to practice taking care of a doll. So when you do borrow the doll, if it gets seriously damaged or if you do not return it in how many days or weeks, I believe, you do have to pay the full $150. And because you will be taking the carrying case, the doll, and the book. This was my doll that I got in my area. Your area might be different. They might clean their dolls or whatsoever. But in my area right now, they're... This is the best that I got so far. I mean, this is the first time I have a booked one, so yeah. Also know that I got this doll um, today, and they returned that doll last night. So, yeah, that's the best so far that I got. If I do happen to borrow another doll from the library, I will definitely let you guys know. And I'll show you a video of me fixing it up and everything because those are just fun videos in general. Well, thank you guys anyway for keeping with this video. Thank you for watching and I hope you to see you next time. Bye!